Hello, welcome back to Conan Exiles. We're actually in the north of the map now, well, north-ish. <laughs> a lot, lot more north than we were before. Last episode we came uh, up this river, all the way up here. And there's lots of coal and ironstone along here. Unfortunately, it's also full of bloody um, hyenas. Uh, and towards the end of the last episode, they just, uh, uh, yeah, death, indeed. But yeah, they, they're merrily snapping away at me. Killed me a number of times because I kept respawning completely naked next to a hyena, which then proceeded to eat me, which wasn't very nice at all. So I'm not sure what to do. This hyena's over there. I don't think it's going to get any safer if I head, if I keep going this direction. I think it just gets more and more and more dangerous. So I wonder if I ought to perhaps go up here, turn around, and yeah, let's just. Let's just head in this direction. Take it nice and easy. Let's get to this other bend in the river. Really, I want somewhere that's an easy access of water. It's got a bit of greenery for wood, etc. Not so many hyenas. Little camp there. Quite a, well, I say little, quite a big camp. Let's look at the map again. Right, so I need to head straight ahead and then bear left. Right, there's one hyena there. The trouble is, as soon as I attack him, he'll call his mates on me. Ah, bollocks. I don't really see any way around this. Let's have some insects. Oh yeah, good. You take him down. Very nice. I'm just going to run past you. Bye bye chums. That was very nice, wasn't it? Slow down a bit again. Is that an elephant? Bloody hell. I don't know they had elephants. Can I interact with this grass? I bet the elephants are stroppy as well. Where are you? You're bound to be really horrible, aren't you? You're bound to be disgusting. Let's see if I can sneak around him. Oh, is he coming towards me? Right up here. He's very impressive, though. going to be in the way. I need to go dead left here. Alright, he's stomping about. Let's just run over here quickly. Hide in these bushes. No, that wasn't good. Ah! Bloody tiger! Oh, does the bloody tiger go away? Bloody hell! Oh, Jesus, here's all the bloody coal and iron I came for. And you can keep it mush, frankly. Get some of these bits and pieces. Get some bloody insects out of this lot. Right, let's go and have some more, <laughs> more insects. Uh, actually, I just want to use that, don't I? I just want to select it. Come on. Plant oh, fiber. Come on, scrubber. I want to get to the river, which should be around the corner. Right, I'm heading towards the water. Let's go up here. River, river must be here. Here it is. Southern Aqueduct. Other Southern Aqu Aqueduct. Then we'll get to it. Let's 
Oh, there's a camp there. How do I get down here? Oh, this is looks a bit easier. Oh, this looks really dangerous around here. Look at that bloody camp. All sorts of horrible creatures. Music is a bit ominous. Right, come on, I need to get more water. Please, a few seeds, but fibre. What's on the other side? Crocodiles. Where am I on the map? Oh, just on that bend. Not too far away from the greenery, which is good. But I don't think I um, ought to go any further north until I've really, really leveled up a bit more. Apparently, the, the further north you go and the further east, the harder and harder it gets. This looks all right, doesn't it? It's got some cactus here, which is new. Just have a quick look around. What do I get out of a cactus? Nothing. All right, wood, cochineal. Okay. Oh, big old prickly pear. This is not idyllic, but okay. Oh, there's a cave. Oh god, that looks a bit dangerous. Oh, I'm not going in there. Let's go back. Well, on one hand, what do you think imps will come out of there? We saw some imps coming out of a cave in the last episode. We don't want to be invaded by imps all the time, do we? What's around here? Finding lots of shelter. Little thing appearing on the um, left hand side of the screen. What I need to do is make a fire, really. Cook some of my meat up. Should we build here? This, this looks all right, doesn't it? This looks all right. Let's hack this. All right, is this cockaneel any? I, I know cockaneels are die. These are the cockaneel um beetles that we used to make red dye back in the day. Very valuable uh, product. I think the original cochineal beetles were found in Mediterranean oaks, though, if I remember correctly. Yeah, what I think I'll do is, rather than bore you with yet more um, base building, I'll actually make a little hut. I'll take some downtime, make a little hut, and then cut round it. Right, well, it's some time later. <laughs> I'm crouched in my little hut now. No windows in this one. Uh, yeah, I might put a window in later, I think, I don't know. But yes, taking me, it took me all, all the rest of that day, all through the night, another day, and I'm in the night time again now. I think it's coming up to dawn soon, but there's been some really creepy sounds. <laughs> sort of sounds that, that sort of say, yeah, you didn't scout this area out properly before you built here, because it's like, I've heard really creepy, sort of dragony sounds and all sorts of wings flapping, or, unless that's my imagination. Your ominous music. I don't know. All a bit much. All a bit much indeed, Scrubber, isn't it? Yeah, you can, you can hear that sort of growling sounds. Anyway, I've got a little little house now I can call my own. I'm going to go in and, and make myself a wooden box and st st uh, put away some stuff, like some of the ironstone and coal that I've collected. 
Anyway, I won't bore you with that, so I'll see you outside in a few minutes. Right, there's horrible sounds. Let's go and see what, what's making them. Right, slow down. It's around the corner. The thing is, I mean, the good news is that nothing has attacked us. In all the time we've been in this little spot. So I think we're probably going to be safe. Let's run up here. Let's have a look around. This might be quite a nice look out here. Oh, don't fall off the edge, scrubber. Don't fall off the edge. Where am I on the map? What are we here? What's this thing? The Southern Aqueduct. 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 We might start seeing some um, scorpions. Yeah, lots of scorpions up in the north. I've not seen any of those yet. Right, lots of coal, lots of ironstone. All looking very good. I preferred it down south when it was a bit greener. What's that around the corner? I think there's something over there. Let's go and have a look at that. I wonder if there's a dragon living in these ruins. I'm assuming they've got dragons somewhere. These sort of games wouldn't really miss up an opportunity to have a dragon in them, would they? Quite windy. Quite windswept. Loads and loads of ore. Also, um, I noticed in my in my crafting menu, I've got this um, armourer's armor's workshop, which I can get going. I don't think I need a thrall to to work that. What is this stuff? What is this looks? Is this the ironstone? Yeah, it's just ironstone, isn't it? Thought it was something else. Let's look around here. No horrible caves, I don't think. She said going into a crevice. I don't know what that is. Is that something? Oh, the music's gone weird. Right. This is really eerie now. I think the I think the music goes a bit funny. Every time I get clo too close to this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's calming down a little bit now, isn't it? Uh, still tense. Nice bit of coal. Little oasis around there. So I've also put a bedroll down, a fresh bedroll down in my hut. So at least I know I'll respawn there. Oh, there's some. Oh, it's a crocodile. And an antelope. Okay, the music. Uncalled for. What see me? What see me? Oh, you sod. Jump up. Well. Oh, crap. I'm trying to get behind it. Go almost. Jump up. Come on. Come on. Dead. Phew. Ah, oh, God Almighty. <laughs> Good fight, scrubber. Feral flesh, fangs, bone, blah blah blah. Really want to get my hands on one of those bloody antelopes, though. Did my poor little um? Oh no, there's my sword there. I thought it'd broken. That was a really cheeky little crocodile, wasn't it? How can I just walk up to these things? Come on! Damn it! 
Alright, let's, let's forget him. Let's go and get another one. I do something that sort of triggers these funny old combos. Why is the... Is this moonlight we're looking at? I think so. It's quite pretty, isn't it? Let's, um... Let's get one of these fellas. Now, I'm guessing that this, this, this character on the left would be quite a tough fight. Let's take some meat. And that if I attack the other one, he'll leap in. Yeah, he's coming for me. Alright, I'm not too bothered about you. I would like some meat, though, to... to make... Come on. Oh, you rotten bastard. Ow. Alright, you're down. Yeah, what I want, I want some hide so I can make a water skin. Oh, yeah. Hack away. Hide, hide, hide. All good stuff. That's a kudu there. Let's get a torch up. Let's run back. Here I am. Phew. Oh, I had a stamina. <laughs> right. We'll call it a day, I think. We've been enough, haven't we? Yeah, so I'm quite pleased with that. We've got a northern base now. And we're not too far away from all the green lands up here. We're very close, in fact, aren't we? Um, yeah, we won't do that for a little while. What I'll do next time is get my um, is get my armourer's workshop sorted out. Get armoured up, have a look at my resources, skills, etc. And see about uh, bettering myself for the battles ahead. I hope you've enjoyed all this. I hope we'll come back for some more. And until I see you again, I shall say goodbye. Okay, cheerio.